you so much. We'll see you in a moment. Right now, more than a dozen people have quite the story to tell after an encounter between an RTD jump bus in Boulder and a car. And as you can see from this Copter 4 video, that bus ended up on its side in a really awkward position. That accident closed Arapahoe Road between 63rd and 75th for a time this morning. Our Jennifer Bryce is live on the scene for us. Jen, good afternoon. What happened out there? Good afternoon, Britt. I'm just going to step out of the way and show you exactly what happened out here. This is quite the sight to see. This happened around 9 a.m. Take a look. An RTD bus is flipped on its side, hanging over the edge of a concrete wall. Now, I'm told that 14 people were injured, 13 people on the bus, and one person in a car. Only one person, though, was transported to the hospital, and everyone else has very minor injuries. So that's the good news in this whole situation. Colorado State Patrol says that the RTD bus was driving westbound on a route. A car was driving eastbound, attempting to turn when we're told its vision was blocked by a semi truck. The car, which is a Subaru, then turned in front of the RTD bus and they collided. As a result of that crash, the bus pushed onto the curb, smashing into a fence and then went over the concrete wall. The Rocky Mountain Fire District says everyone on that bus actually self evacuated. They did have their extrication equipment to stabilize the bus while they were ensuring everybody was out of the bus to make sure that the bus didn't fall while they were working around it. Now, as a result of this crash, power lines were also hit in this area, but Excel has come out. They've cut the lines that are just above us. And if you take a look over here, you can see there's a tremendous amount of fencing. This actually goes for probably half a mile down the road. It's been ripped off the concrete. That, too, has to be repaired. But just a remarkable story that one person has minor injuries and one person was taken to the hospital and everyone else is okay. And it just goes to show when you're on a bus, pay attention to those self-evacuation signs that you see see on the inside of the bus because you never know when it might happen. Live in Boulder, Jennifer Bryce, CBS 4 News. Such a great point. Thank you, Jennifer. Now, where Jennifer is is not too far from an area where six train cars derailed yesterday afternoon. Five were empty, but one was carrying plastic beads, which are not hazardous. That did have the roads closed in the area overnight for cleanup. The tracks should be open for train traffic in the next hour or so. Boulder Police and BNSF train officials are trying to figure out why the cars went off the tracks to begin with.